Hi, this is Veronica Johnson with So It Seems, and welcome to my studio. Today I'd like to introduce you to a quilt and a series that I'm hoping to be able to do over the next several months, possibly a couple of years. But this quilt is referred to as the Jane Stickle quilt or the Dear Jane quilt. And this was created by a woman named Jane Stickle and finished in 1863. A few years ago, there was a woman named Brenda, and I'm going to have to look at her name, Mangus Papadakis. And I have probably butchered her name, especially the middle part. But this woman, Brenda, went and saw this quilt created by Jane Stickle hanging in a museum. And it's been well preserved. Brenda decided that she wanted to copy each of the blocks that were in this quilt. And I'm going to show you a picture of the quilt that Jane made. There's a little bit of a glare. There we go. Here you can see each of the blocks, the, the entire quilt that Jane had made. It's quite a huge undertaking. Each of these little blocks are um, four and a half inches. They're five inches before they're sewn in. And so once they're sewn into the block, that's a four and a half inch block. And then the triangles are a little bit longer. Um, I haven't measured those. I think they're six inches long. But this is quite an undertaking. And the in the corner of her quilt, it says, in wartime. So she made this quilt during the war, the Civil War. She made this quilt and it is so well preserved that it is still on display in the museum. Um, and I think it's only a few times a year that you can actually see the quilt. When Brenda went and copied each of the patterns, she then put it all together in a book that is that she titled Dear Jane. She called it Dear Jane because as she copied each block, she then made a little story about it or almost like a little letter that she wrote to Jane with each section. So in her book, she has letters that she wrote uh, to Jane, of course, long gone, but letters that she wrote to Jane, kind of just wondering about her life. There really was not a whole lot of information that is found about this particular creator, but Brenda uh, wrote all these letters titling each one, Dear Jane, and then she got did line drawings of each of the blocks. She put that all together then into this book where people can buy this book and then create their own quilt. Most people that make their quilt, they call them Janiacs, and the quilts that they finish are called a Dear Jane quilt. With these blocks, we have the the photo that Brenda was able to take of the block, and then a line drawing rendering of that block. That's all the information that we get for each block. So this becomes quite an under undertaking. When you buy the book, there is the option to get a digital format, um, a CD, or I think you can do a download now because a lot of computers don't have CDs, but being able to have it in a format where you can have it on your computer and then be able to work with the software. I've never used that. I've never had the equipment or the program to be able to utilize that. But when I bought the book, I was also able to get rulers that went with the book. But this ruler is the ruler for the five inch blocks. This does measure five inches, but it has lines to mark it so that you could get, once it's sewn in, four and a half inch block. And also the ruler for the triangles. And so this is the triangle ruler so you can make the triangles. When I first began my journey in making the blocks for this Dear, Dear Jane quilt, I was able to find a blog that was filled with tips and tricks and methods of making the blocks. Those have helped quite a bit, but sometimes it's still very confusing. And I started looking for some blocks that were shown on YouTube. 
There were some, but I haven't found anyone that has done all the blocks. My goal is to record it so then you can see a walkthrough on how to create each block. I do all of my blocks hand piecing because when I first started, my machine would not handle the small pieces and would eat up all the little tiny pieces that we needed to use. So I've hand pieced all of the blocks for my Dear Jane quilt. As I make each video, I will show you the method that I'm using. If I run into problems or mistakes, I will also share that so that you can learn different tips and tricks for making your own blocks as you go through the Dear Jane experience. So I hope you'll enjoy watching each of these videos. You don't have to watch every single video that goes through the blocks, but maybe there's one that you need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help on, and hopefully I'll be able to help you as you try to make your own blocks. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments section, or you can send me an email at sewitseemscreations@outlook.com. at outlook.com. Thank you.